Good morning, good people. How you all doing? How's things? It's another fine morning here in Dublin. And fine by, I mean, it's not raining. We'll take it. Uh, it was very confusing weather yesterday, so. Cool. Um, I got a, I got mail. Uh, weird mail. I got a, something pushed through the, uh, under my door this morning. Um, Apparently there's somebody uh, who will take care, takes care of this apartment building that we live in are a bit upset about um, recycling and there's a recycling bin downstairs and uh, apparently somebody's put in their um, unwashed milk cartons and plastic water bottles that haven't been crushed and uh, oh, this uh, letter uh, and it was directly aimed at us, uh, it was our names on it, and bringing this to our attention. And the wording was very interesting. It was uh, one step away from directly accusing of us, um, which I find kind of funny. Um, I've been crushing all the water bottles. If they're not happy with my crushing, then maybe I need to up my game on crushing. Number two, um, I don't drink milk. Neither does my girlfriend. We don't have any milk in our house. Number three, I've been religiously rinsing everything I put into that bin. So I know one or two things about recycling. And I fully understand why having the recycling bin downstairs is great. And if any of us put us anything, especially dairy, into it, uh, it would stink and the whole hallway was think absolutely rotten uh, so I've no desire to do that I'd rather keep it clean I don't mind it being brought to my attention I'm, I think it should be brought to everybody's attention but the fact that they've gone through the effort of actually contacting the management company getting our names and sending, and sending the letter to us don't accuse somebody on, until you have any evidence because this definitely has not been us. I have to think about how I'm going to deal with this. So yeah, that was an interesting thing to wake up to. Um, apart from that, today is um, studio day. I am a little bit behind my um, schedule of getting stuff done before I go on the tour. so. In the studio so I have to start uh, really cracking on a couple of songs um, I have one song lyrics done so I have to come up with the melody part of it and yeah looking forward to doing that but yeah breakfast and coffee first and then we get on with the day talk to you in a bit today's studio day starts off like so many other studio days um, it starts off with me having not a very very specific idea so I have to kind of get inspired get some ideas in my head so sometimes I listen to some music sometimes it can be something random it could be just a, something I watch or that triggers something in, in my head and gets me going then the second part I usually is which I usually do same time I usually listen to music and I google I google how to do certain things like I think of something that I've done lately in the Logic Pro X. Logic Pro X is such a massive program that you you you'll, you probably never run out of things to learn about it. But um, I'm figured out how to do something pretty well. So I'm thinking, can I improve on that? Is there better ways of doing that? Um, I'm really liking the drummer tracks in uh, Logic Pro a lot. But it, it, the risk you run is that you sound very very repetitive, very fast. So you have to learn how to alter them as much as possible from the last one and yes I'm looking to a lot of things to do with that at the moment have me coffee here and um, yeah getting started on this week's song okay today's track is coming along very very nicely it's uh, turning into one of those uh, productions where I don't think I'm in charge of anything I think the track is just leading me um, it, it's funny how like this days when you get troubled by everything that's going around you, like uh, you know the noise outside the apartment, and like you're like, see, that's going to leak into the track. It's not good. Good. It's not good. Today, like I don't care. It's like I'm always close from everything that's going on there. That's why I have to take time to actually stop and film a little bit of this, this because I'm just so in the track right now. 
it's hard to explain, but the track kind of takes a hold of you and you just go with it. Especially when there's kind of programming stuff involved, uh, it can really suck you into a different world and time warp and you have to kind of put alarms on so that you don't miss work and yeah, it's cool. It's, it's really a nice place to be. Right, so I've got the basics of the track kind of laid down. Um, there's a lot more programming to be done, but um, I'm going to put the basic vocals down and see what it sounds like with the vocals. Um, so far, awesome. I look at you from a distance I'm Hoping you won't see me here It's been over ten years by now Still need some time to heal Still not comfortable with the actual melody of the track 100% because I'm kind of I'm working on the melody as I go along um, so some of this kind of testing which is I, I, I I really enjoy that part of it as well. I hope, I hope someday, I hope someday we can be friends. I hope someday we can be friends. I hope someday we can be friends. We can be friends, friends. I'm trying to keep my, um, when I sing higher, I have the tendency to kind of go into the head voice maybe a little bit too earlier, but not only that, I've tightened up the throat and then it comes very skinny. Whereas I know I got a big, big enough velocity in my, in my gut that I can get a lot more uh, air and space and all that into it. So working on that, getting that bang on. I hope someday we see. I hope someday we can be friends. I hope someday we can be friends. Right now it still feels too real. I hope someday when the story ends Right now I still need time to heal We're getting there, we're getting there It's gonna be a good one Talk to a bit Okay, the track is coming down very 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 nicely and um, I I think I'm kind of happy enough with it. I'm not sure whether to add more or leave it. So I think we're at the point of I just have to give it a rest for a day and come back to it tomorrow and see what I think. Something different, for sure, if nothing else. Um, yeah. It's been a successful studio day. Now, um, I gotta keep on cracking on because I wanna edit tomorrow's vlog. I have really nice stuff filmed. I'm gonna edit it ready before I go to the porterhouse. Uh, so I got about an hour, two hours max. And also there's a, one or two photos I wanna edit for Instagram. Um, Instagram is rocking at the moment, so I wanna keep it rocking. Um, just listening to the track one more time. But that's all you're gonna hear. More on Friday. So there we go. Exporting tomorrow's vlog. It's a pretty good screenshot, isn't it? Make a thumbnail out of that one. Um, this gone pretty okay. Um, here's something cool. This is my Fender Excelsior amp. It's a pretty funky looking thing, isn't it? Now, um, due to the fact that between the Euros and everything, this has been a, uh, just a little bit of tight would be wrong for but like my fine, I have to watch my finest more than normally. And uh, as I said, I've got two really cool trips coming up, and I really want to 
get a camera, a new camera for those trips because I really want to give you guys like the highest quality content as possible for those two trips. I'm kind of trying to sell little bits of everything here. Um, that amp is unfortunately now on the sale. A few things that I really not sure if I'm gonna regret selling them if I sell them, but the camera is right now the priority. And sometimes you gotta make these kind of sacrifices in life. You gotta I'll just prioritize the things like you know that amp is I love it, but it's been sitting under my table since I moved here. I haven't even played it once. I think last time I played that would have been, I'd say realistically close enough to a year ago so I think uh, it ain't doing anything good by sitting under my table right now where I could be using the money for something else so that kind of decisions have to be sometimes made but yeah day going excellently well and now just wait for this to export then put it to upload to YouTube uh, got one more photo to edit and then I'm off to Porter House all going well just when I have pretty much everything done, except I'm still exporting the file from Final Cut Pro, the video for tomorrow's vlog. And then I try to open up Lightroom at the same time. And the whole computer just grinds down to a halt. Now I'm trying to reboot it, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to switch off everything before I reboot, so I, there's nothing like... I try to do it as nicely as possible with the computer, instead of just... You know, thinking. <laughs> Rebooting it, but it's it's putting up a voice. I'm running out of time at the end of the session, but I want to get the vlog uploading before I leave for the session. So, fingers crossed, we get this done in time. Actually, we're rushing back to the port house now. Computer, just making his best to make sure that I missed my late lunch, but I think I'll be, be fine. You know. Session done. I'm on my way to home. Uh, it's kind of grey-ish evening, but it's not raining once again, so we'll take it. Okay, no. It's good tunes. It's, it's always a pleasure to play with Brian Dead. Such a wonderful banjo masters. So there you go. Find it hard to breathe. Heart feels heavy in the chest. I won't waste my tears as you cry for someone else I won't waste my tears as you cry for someone else